Hola, 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 mi gente. ¿Cómo están? ¿Cómo están, mis amores? How are you doing today? Hope you're having a good day. Yesterday was Thanksgiving. Hope you enjoyed your holiday because it is going crazy today. I can't stay away from being in front of the camera. <laughs> Thanks to Mr. I can't even, I can't put the Mr. in front of it. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Thanks to this monster, Diddy, um, this um, Asuser, this animal, Didi. Okay. I can't stay off the camera because we got to keep up with the latest news, y'all. Like the last time the, the lawsuit hit him while I was asleep, literally uh, last night, but I already, I already posted a video on that. But so guess what? Guess what, girl? Guess what, girl? Guess what, bestie? <laughs> this animal has gotten sued again. This animal has gotten himself sued again. I don't understand. I do not understand. Like, he's done. He's done, girl. Girly, this is it for him. Demolished. I'm so happy. You can tell, like, the way I'm, I'm just so happy. I'm just so happy. He's done for. He's done for. I said it in my last videos, my last uh, previous videos covering this issue. I said it. I was like, he's done because the higher ups, the ones that are even above him, are not going to want this exploding in their faces. So they're going to push him right in front of that bus. It's not the first one that they've done it to. They're they're like, you on your own. At first, they'll try and they'll help them behind the scenes and things like that because it's part of him providing the services that he provides when it comes to SA and basically bringing them the women that they can abuse, that they can abuse. Now, so they'll do that at first. And also, it's easier for them to prevent it than for them to then have to, you know, make sure that he gets pushed under the bus because they'll have to spend more resources doing that. Like, okay, we got to make sure that everything comes out against this guy. So nothing, so no one is even talking about us or our name doesn't ever even come up in any of these situations. So it's easier to prevent the whole thing in the first place. But when it becomes too much, and the public is like, huh? Because it was enough of a big explosion for us to be like, and mind you, it shouldn't have taken this long because a lot of things have come up with this animal that it took us a while. I don't know why, but it did. But Cassie, thank you, girl. Thank you, girl. Because you did all women such a big service. This really shows us the nature of all males. This is the nature. This is their nature, women. This is their nature. We just get to see it play out on the movie screen. But this is how they all are. So let's take a look, girly. Let's take a look because I, I cannot. Okay, so. Mm, 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 mm. Sean Didi Combs, New York Post. <laughs> Today, this just went up. This just went up. Um, Sean Didi Combs sued by third accuser, claiming he and Aaron took turns graping her. Third accuser. This list, this list, this person as third. It's actually fourth, though. They're not counting Cassie because Cassie got settled out. She got her bag and she she got her bag appropriately. So these type of animals, you got to hit their pockets first and drain them. And then you set them and use them as an example to the rest of their species. To the rest of their animalistic male species. That's how you have to keep these animals under control. So that's why they have it listed as third. So Sean Diddy Combs sued by third accuser, claiming he and Aaron he, he and Aaron took turns graping her. 
A third woman has filed a lawsuit against Sean Didi Combs, claiming that the rapper and singer songwriter Aaron Hall took turns graping her and a friend in the early 1990s. So they passed her around and took turns graping her in the early 1990s. And here we are, the general public, none the wiser, singing along to his songs. I'm so disgusted. I am so disgusted, girl. I'm so disgusted. Like, what is, oh my gosh. And all in the meanwhile, this is what he was doing, allegedly. The plaintiff identified in the complaint obtained by the Post as Jane Doe. So they didn't release her name. I wonder if she's famous. I wonder if she's famous, girl. Okay. As Jane Doe alleged that she and her pal met Combs and Hal at an event hosted by MCA Records in the New York City in New York City in 1990 or 1991. Combs and Hall were very flirtatious and handsy with Jane Doe and her friend, offering them drinks throughout the night. Read the 10-page lawsuit. Oh, sorry. Read, I can't. <laughs> this story has just got me all, oh my gosh, I can't. Combs and Hall were very flirtatious and handsy with Jane Doe and her friend, offering them drinks throughout the night. Read the 10-page lawsuit filed Thursday, just before the expiration of the Adult Survivors Act. The two performers, <laughs> performers, <laughs> right? The two performers later invited the women, performers, that's a lie, more like liars. I mean, these are liars. I know what they meant here, but the irony of it. The two performers later invited the two women to Hall's apartment for an after party, where Doe was allegedly coerced into having sex with Combs. After Combs finished doing his business, Jane Doe laid in bed shocked and traumatized. According to the court documents, as she was in the process of getting dressed, Hall barged into the room, pinned her down, and forced Jane Doe to have sex with him. Goodness gracious. Following the alleged rape, the woman got dressed and ran out of Hall's home with her friend leaving a short time later. No way. Do y'all think this is like her? Nuh-uh. That's crazy do you think they would just put a picture up there or is this like a random picture so for those of you that don't know um the second i believe yeah the second lawsuit so we're, we count four because we count cassie as first as far as the the first complainant at the very least the first complainant and then we count from there so the second one or technically the first uh lawsuit um Didi's company got sued. Okay. And Hall got sued. So it's basically, I mean, Didi got sued basically because his company got sued. The the woman sued his company and the woman also sued Hall because apparently Hall um essayed her and did a lot of other things to her if you haven't watched that video make sure to get yourself caught up by watching that video um um right after this one also y'all make sure to like comment and subscribe please it helps the channel a lot and i really um love that the group is growing and i want to see that continue so definitely don't forget to like and subscribe and comment on your thoughts this is crazy this is crazy uh okay yep the so the woman dressed ran out of the home where her friend followed shortly after i don't know if this is her but look how this like ew Y'all, I cannot. I cannot. The friend told John Doe, according to the filing, that she too had been forced to have sex with Combs and Hall in another room. Goodness gracious. Upon information and belief, when Combs finished with Jane Doe, he and Hall switched and they commen and they commenced assaulting Jane Doe's friend, the lawsuit alleged. 
Oh my God. Doe claimed that a couple of days later, Combs came to the home where she and her friend were staying and violently attacked her. Oh my God. So this says Jane Doe's friend was with her at the time of the attack and claims that she was also forced to have sex with Combs and Hall. That's just the caption on this picture. Oh my gosh. He's always been ugly. <laughs> buck tooth. Look at the buck tooth. Okay. Um, he was irate and became and he was irate and be began assaulting and choking Jane Doe to the point that she passed out, the complaint read. The bad boy for a life rapper was allegedly searching for the woman's friend Combs because he was worried that she would tell the girl he was with at the time what he and Hall had done to them, argued the lawsuit. These are fabricated claims falsely alleging misconduct from over 10 years ago and filed at the last minute. This is nothing but a money grab. That's a spokesman for Combs. That's all, that's all they know how to say is nothing but a money grab. What else are they supposed to grab, sir? When you, If you essayed her, if your client essayed her, graped her, abused her, what do you think that you can give her that would rectify that situation? Because even money doesn't rectify or even come close. It's just the only thing that we can go for. So you continuing to say, oh, it's just the money grab. Like, are you, are you stupid? Like you are not helping your client. Okay. Y'all need to get, like, get it together, but he's done for. He's done for. Because of Mr. Combs' fame and success, he is an easy target for anonymous accusers who lie without conscience or consequence for financial benefit. Oh, really? So Cassie was what? Cassie was what? An anonymous accuser? Is that who Cassie was? An anonymous accuser? Sir, goodbye. The New York legislature surely did not intend uh, or expect the Adult Survivors Act to be exploited in to be exploited by scammers. You wish. Even if, despite what ends up happening with these cases, he is done. Because who is going to associate themselves with someone with this type of re record? Someone with this type of resume? So those women really are contributing to the overall protection of all women just by filing these lawsuits. And I believe every single one of them. I believe every single one of them. And I believe that Cassie gave them the courage because when Cassie did hers, they were able to see the public's response and every single person was on Cassie's side, period. For the most part, we had, you know, other animals trying to defend this animal, but we don't regard them as necessarily, you know, we... <laughs> so, so yeah. Hall 59 could not be immediately contacted. <laughs> could not of course probably trying to go he's probably trying to go in hiding he is best known as a member of the 1980s R&B group guy which is currently on tour the lawsuit also names a defendant as defendants Hall MCA Inc and MCA Music Entertainment Group and I don't know how to pronounce that Jeff Geffen Geffen or Jeffen Records it alleges battery, assault, and sexual assault, and negligent infliction of emotional distress, and seeks unspecified damages at trial. After the incident, the alleged victim informed her close friend and family about what had occurred. And over the years, she had sought medical treatment to heal from the trauma visited upon her by Combs and Hall. Man, if she has those medical records, that is not going to be good for these people, for, for P. Didi and his little squad. 
The woman was said to have suffered physical injury, lasting psychological and financial damages, severe emotional distress, humiliation, loss of dignity, and invasion of privacy. Goodness. So this animal has been sued again, y'all. We have yet another survivor coming up, coming out, and speaking out. Thank you, Cassie. This is why I always encourage you, do not be going out and partying with these males. They are males. They are animalistic by nature. Don't trust them just because they make a lot of money. Money is barely the minimum requirement. It's literally barely the surface level minimum requirement. There are still, every, there's still everything else that we have to look for in that equation. Once we make sure that they have money, because we're not going to waste our time looking for all the things that we need if you ain't even got enough money. So don't just go with someone or go out with someone, especially at night or with them and their, their ugly friend. You know, th these males are ugly anyway. I don't even know or understand the audacity that they have. <laughs> The audacity. Just because he's got some money or whatever the case may be. Leave them alone. Leave these males alone. They will take themselves out. Leave them alone. They can't do without women. It is crazy to me. And these males allegedly are gay. They're all gay. But yet they refuse to leave women alone. It's the patriarchy that they've created. The woman is literally the prize. But yet they'll come and try to lie to you, berate you, put you down, especially if you don't, if you turn them down, when you can't even do it without women. You, you can't leave women alone and, uh, and you, you, you gay. Like, I don't understand why you're harassing women. I don't understand why you don't just come out, be yourself, be who you are. Be honest, be upfront, leave women alone. I don't get it. I don't get it. Especially in 2023, like no one's going to care that you're gay, sir. But every male in Hollywood, y'all, every male in Hollywood is gay. That's what I think. Allegedly, that's what I think. And that's what's been coming out for years. Usher, Dee Dee. It's like, there's even been some rumors about 50. You know, it's like, really? All these rumors have to come from somewhere. It's not coming from thin air. So it's crazy to me. It's just insane to me. I mean, the fact that they have the manosphere and all of these spheres insulting women, yet they get violent and desperate, especially when they don't have access to women. It's like they lose their mind. They literally go insane. And then on the flip side, they can't even take care of or handle a woman in the first place. So women are like, I don't want to be around you because you're subpar. So yet some more proof of the real and true nature of males. This is their nature. And you have to move as a woman accordingly. You have to move accordingly. If you're looking to be partnered up, if you're looking for an, a husband, don't be Delulu going by feelings. Oh, I love him so No one cares about feelings. Feelings are irrelevant when it comes to that. What you need to be looking for is the one to 3%. If you don't know what that is, check out my video uh, where I talk about the one. I, there's a few where I talk about the one to 3%. Um, so check out the video where I talk about alpha 
versus beta males. Alpha versus beta males. There's only, it's only one to 3% of all men around the world that could be potentially considered alpha. But we can't just look at their money to determine that. The money is just the first step. Watch throughout the video. Don't just watch the first part and start commenting and you ain't even watch the video. <laughs> Anyways, y'all, let me know what you think. Like, it, this is insane. I can't catch a break. I, I'm like, time to turn on the camera again. <laughs> He's keeping me employed. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. Anyways, comment below, like the video, subscribe, join the Independent Pretty Girlies group, and let me know what you think, y'all. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.